We're so reliant on our connection to the internet for so many things now, but how does your network work? Well, here's Jeannie, who wants to use her laptop at home to play Minecraft. Her home has Wi-Fi, so her laptop connects to her home Wi-Fi, which can connect or route your request. A thing that routes your request is called a router. First it looks up where Minecraft is. Computers don't understand words, they only understand numbers. So it looks up the number for Minecraft in its list and connects to another router owned by whoever connects you to the internet, which then connects you to the internet and then to the, the Minecraft server, which is the, it knows the number of. Much the same thing happens at school, except that your school may be centrally managed by a router that can connect several schools to the internet. And several devices are connected together at your school. Your router may be more powerful for that reason. So when Jeannie wants to look up Minecraft at school, the same sort of thing happens. But the lookup may happen locally or centrally, depending upon your setup. This means that when someone wants to look up something they shouldn't, the school or organisation may block it. 